I think you're really dope with Eric Nam. Welcome mm. to the show, you guys. This is Eric Nam, and this is an episode of I Think You're Dope. And today we have uh, two great friends. Dope. <laughs> That's a huge compliment. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever called me I dope feel cool I think you're now. dope. That's, That's nice. why you're on the show. I feel like English people just by default cannot be dope. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> we, you know, we don't English get away people with people are dope. so dope. Really? <laughs> Prince William, is he dope? <laughs> <laughs> He's not dope. Yeah. Eddie Redmayne. I don't think anyone has ever described that man as dope. He's many things, but he's not dope. <laughs> he's, uh, well, for... He's cool. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. He's cool. Cool, take cool it like now. an angle. Right. He's cool. I think you guys yeah. are dope. So Fantastic. before we get into why you guys are dope, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so today, we have my friends Josh and Ollie of Korean Englishmen. Wow. They're both… They're Englishmen. But mm -hmm. they do a lot of stuff in Korea. And so they have That's a channel true. called Korean Englishmen. In Korean, it's called Yongguk Damja. And yes. so… Welcome to the show. Thanks, Eric. Thank Thanks you very coming. much. Thanks for having us. It's been, I'm excited to have you guys here. Yeah, we're excited to be here. This is our first podcast. Ever? Ever. Ever. Wow. We've is that true? Yeah. That is true, huh? We've talked a, a, a lot random. about doing one ourselves. You should. But, mm. you know, I don't know. We talk about a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> you never get around <laughs> yeah. to it. If you yeah. were to do a podcast, what would it be? Oh, I think we'd probably call it like… I think you're dope or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we do. We've, we we were thinking about doing uh, some kind of a commentary podcast uh -huh. because the the most recent series that we did on our YouTube channel right. just had so much, so much went into making it happen. We uh -huh. did it on a Korean military base yeah. with a British army soldier. Uh -huh. And we had to get military approval. It was just a lot. It was a lot. Oh, wow. So we were like, ah, oh, it'd be kind of interesting to talk about it. But then it just sounds really self-indulgent. does. So, well, we have some great boring. ideas for you. We'll, oh. talk, we'll talk to you about it after the show. Brilliant. Because we just, we're all about podcasting here. Okay. Fantastic. So, a a um, jolly cast. But yeah, happen. the jolly cast. It can be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've already got a name. <laughs> <laughs> we it's don't perfect. take seven episodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that. that I'm that. sorry. <laughs> I'm very indecisive. Uh, yeah. We went through like 15 names. <laughs> and then they were like, you need to come up with that. And they're like, I think you're dope. I was like, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. we'll, we'll go with it. Um, <clears throat> so we have, we always like to start off with a bunch of facts that our producer and writers like to, to throw on our wonderful fact sheets. Okay. Um, so, full name, Josh Carrot. Do you have a middle name? I do. My, I it? mean, my first name is actually Joshua. 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 Oh, wait. I do my know this. My second <laughs> name. My middle name. You know my middle yeah, name? I feel like you told me. I don't know Maybe. Drinking. It begins with a D, yeah. but it's not a common D name. Please do share. Uh, it's Daryl. Oh, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's normal. <laughs> in America. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it normal I, in America? I, it's, more, it's more normal in America. I don't, I, the only person I know called Daryl is, other than the guy from The Office, he's Daryl. Oh, yeah. He other is. than that guy is my dad. So, oh. in England, it's quite common, I think, to get either your dad's name or like your uncle's name. Okay. Well, Joshua Daryl Carey. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. Uh, you were born in England. Obviously, I think. I was. In you Brighton, were. yeah. In Brighton. Mm -hmm. And when you were 12, you moved to China. I did. Yeah, you guys have done your research. We wow. did our good. research. It's good. I'm sure it's a great Wikipedia page <laughs> that has everything. <laughs> yeah. So you were in China, um, and that's when you were introduced to Korean culture. Indeed, yeah. Through your classmates mm -hmm. and friends. Yeah, the school I went to was like 90% Korean students. Oh, really? Mm. That's cool. So Threw me in the deep end. There you go. Yeah. And then you ended up studying Korean, right? I did, yeah. University. That's not a normal, like, that's not a, I mean, I guess it's more common nowadays. Yeah, now. Back then. But not when you were doing it, but you were just, I'm going to do Korean. Yeah, what was weird is I, I was in Qingdao, which is like one hour plane ride from Korea. Right. And then I flew back to London to study Korean. In, right, you could have just come here. Yeah, I could have done. But you did, yeah. That would have been way too easy. <laughs> too easy. So I went all the way to London uh -huh. and studied Korean there at like probably the only school. I think maybe there was two universities uh -huh. in like Europe or something that did a Korean uh -huh. degree. Right. And so I did that. I was, there was I think seven people in my class, maybe like nine, including people who were doing double majors. Okay. 
And that was our whole year of Korean majors. That's great. And <laughs> it was um, surreal. And it's yeah. uh, clearly paid off. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're doing it's very well. Out. It's worked out. Um, okay. And then you and Ollie met <clears throat> at uni. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, we were saying this just before we recorded this. That we went to this college called SOAS. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one of the smallest colleges in the University of London. There's like, what? When we went, maybe maybe 700 undergraduates. Just That's a, tiny. And just oh. over a thousand postgrads. And we were undergrads. And we met on the first day. Love at first sight. Okay. I, well. In my memory, I just remember well. Josh bouncing towards me in slow, slow motion. Really? Okay. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. That's a. Well. I love that perspective. <laughs> now, let's see how true it was. Josh, what was your yeah. take on that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I was with. I, you know how. Anyone who's been to university, or I guess anyone moved to a new place for the first time, and and no one knows anyone. Mm-hmm. We're all kind of just clueless, you know, all being a bit awkward. And uh, some random guy comes up to me out of the blue, quite confidently. Mm. Says, hey, uh, hi, uh, uh, my name's Ollie. I don't have any friends. Uh, do you want to be my friend? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, very uh, forward. This is Ollie, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hi, and I went to shake his hand, and he was like, "Ooh, sorry, uh, got got sweaty hands. Yeah, very sweaty hands. You yeah. probably probably shouldn't do the handshake." I uh, I would say I'm that's more, my memory. I'm most is... awkward on first meeting, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just yeah. all downhill. Yeah. Well, all up uphill, downhill. I can't. I don't know. I mean, I'm awkward because. <laughs> I haven't met Eric many times. But, Ollie embraces the awkwardness. But and he goes the, full awkward. I was like, you know, let's just get out of the way. I don't really sweat anywhere. Just it's your true. hands? Just it's my hands. True. I, I, wow. I literally, yeah. I don't have to wear deodorant. I just don't really sweat. Mm. I think it's because I was born like tragically without a metabolism. So <laughs> I can, <laughs> so I, I, like literally I have a hamburger uh-huh. and I'm like, a week of eating hamburgers, I'll be fat. Like a visible hamburger shape. Just on your on your I belly. work out so much just to <laughs> sweat be, through your hands. Or just to be basically <laughs> like healthy. If Josh yeah. worked out as much as me, he would be Mr. Olympia. Basically. He would be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, and uh, so, but when I'm nervous, I sweat through my hands, which isn't ideal if you're shaking people's hands. Right. That's probably. <clears throat> They're probably going to wipe it off. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought, I've just met this guy, Josh. He's just agreed to be my friend. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I want him to go yeah. home and be like, and, uh, I and, But now he's option. asked to shake my hand. I'm like, the best thing to do is back out and just tell him yeah. the truth. You know, you don't want to shake my hand. You know what? Honesty is a great policy. And I think, yeah. you know, that's probably why you guys are still friends. It paid off, exactly. you know. Cool. Like 10 years later. Yeah. Best friend. Best of More friends. More than 10 years. 12 years now. 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Man, yikes! Um, so you guys have known each other for twelve years. Mm-hmm. So let's let's. Uh, so you went through university. You guys were good friends in uni. Uh-huh. Um, and for those who are listening who do not are not familiar with them and their YouTube channel, you guys have what over three million subscribers now. Yeah. Is it over three million? Coming up on three and a half on our main that's channel. Crazy. One and a half on our second channel. So yeah. that's like yeah. five million subscribers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is absurd. <laughs> it's so I ridiculous. Don't, I don't think there's there is some overlap between the two channels. I'm but, sure, but like but they're it's quite still. is they're quite distinct as well. Yeah. Right. But so yeah. Five million subscribers. How did you get started? How did this happen? Well, good question. I mean it, it does go back to university, right? Yeah. We I mean Ollie for some reason <laughs> always so likes to make videos. <laughs> And not really, I would say, because we had any specific purpose or aim. No. Uh, other than just documenting ridiculous happenings. I like so before I met Josh yeah. as SOAS, I was at art college. Uh-huh. I, I went to Central St. Martins in in London and I just didn't <clears throat> I didn't enjoy it. Uh-huh. I, like I I I haven't got anything against art education. But it just wasn't for me, and I was like, I want to get a more formal mm-hmm. academic education. But then, and so I decided to go to SOAS, where I met Josh. But then there's like this creative void in my life mm-hmm. where I was doing art every day, 
for you know over five years and suddenly like I'm writing essays and reading uh -huh. and so I had to do something creative and Josh was really <laughs> into just... making videos as well yeah. and so we just started making videos so the and first cre the creativity kind of took its form in basically thinking about what insane pranks we could pull on our friends slash housemates right and funny ways to film it and then turn it those into videos yeah uh also some videos we just made and i don't really remember why yeah but clearly the idea got into our head that this would be hilarious right then we did a like a video that's like a contest <coughs> between josh and me up the stairs where it's it's like kind of an mma fight don't try climbing up the stairs in search it. of like a taxidermy uh, mink Oh, what? And Goodness. in the, it just, it defies <laughs> categorization. Josh just got there. so red. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, just choked, like I just choked a little bit on my drink. <laughs> <clears throat> not going to lie. We did, yeah. <clears throat> but we, we, it was quite fun because in search of the next video, we were like, oh, what can we do? Which can be like the craziest yeah. thing ever. Ollie so, got into his head that making a, a potato launcher from a, ba wow. a bunch of plastic piping. Yeah. That you would spray deodorant into and then get a lighter <laughs> and light the deodorant as the fuel that would yeah. explode out and shoot a potato or whatever we were using as ammunition. <laughs> we we had one of the guys in our group is like a quite popular guy. Yeah. And uh, in our like circle of friends. And so we decided to have a party oh, no. themed around him. <laughs> but tell everyone except him. And <laughs> <laughs> so we, we had this this party. There were like a hundred people came dressed as him. Wow. We had like that's great photos of him mm. printed up everywhere. This means like like one sixth of your entire school showed up. Yeah, yeah. We I mean we knew everyone yeah, right. We knew everyone really, in our graduating yeah. class because there that's were only yeah. two hundred of us. Yeah. So <laughs> so you guys were making great videos. Well, in college. Yeah. We were making videos. Yeah, I don't know whether they were We great. thought now, they were great. can we take like a time machine back and have this uploaded onto your YouTube as like a… Like a vintage collection? I mean, maybe. I would love to see some of those. Wow. I don't know, one day. I'm just throwing it out yeah, there into I mean, the universe. Yeah, it's People this, might appreciate it's possible. it. It's possible. It is possible. You know, it's like the inception yeah. of mm -hmm. Jolly. Well, the mm -hmm. first so. the first video that actually kind of… It didn't go viral or anything, but like it got shared around on Facebook. A bunch, yeah. Back when people use Facebook. Right. And then <laughs> uh, was when Josh came to study in Korea. Ah. Uh, yes. And you were like missing all of us. Yeah, me yeah. in particular. He was really missing Before me. Before I kind of got to know anyone. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't know that many people out here. I was like struggling to learn Korean. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, it was right before Christmas and I'd spoken to Josh. I knew he wasn't feeling great. So I, do you remember that, the song by the Killers, Are We Human? Yeah. Human? Good song. And Great song. Yeah, it was a big song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you know. I like just made this sign yeah. that said, I miss you, Josh. Uh -huh. And then I got all of our friends to hold it and dance to that song. Oh, like, it's kind of cheesy. One. Yeah. And we got them one by one to dance. But yeah. then the twist was that like, Throughout, like as the video progressed, there were a couple of people that Josh that we had met since Josh left, so Josh wouldn't really know. But then as the video <laughs> progressed, then like I started going up to people on the street and I was, I said, "Would you be willing to hold this sign uh -huh. and just dance for me?" And I played and the more thing, and more random right? the people. And then, <laughs> and then, and then by the end, it's literally like and there was a cab driver in Die it in who was literally just in just there. Looked. He wasn't dancing; he was just holding the sign, <laughs> so like confused. staring into the camera just like with a gaunt fat look on his face some poor old lady on the bus and it was a like, lady i mean i got everyone's permission but it it became this like completely absurd <sighs> thing where all these like random people on the right. streets of london are like looking really seriously into the camera holding the sign i miss you josh yeah. and uh that was josh's christmas present for that year oh that's so but nice that, that, that got shared sweet. around on facebook right yeah. and i got like messages from all over the world from people I didn't know being mm. like, this is like the sweetest thing. I think mm. most people assume that he knew all of the people <laughs> in the right. video. But obviously... <laughs> no idea. Yeah. I thought they were like my extended family. Yeah. No clue. Nah, just some random person you met on the street. But yeah, I don't, that Fair was like enough. before there were view counts on Facebook videos Right, well. right, right. So I don't know how videos. many people saw it. But I got, I don't know, a couple of hundred messages from like people I didn't right. know. Random. And then um, you're like, we should make this a thing. Is that... 
a few years later. Okay. We both went. We finished uni. We started different jobs. Did what did you do? What did you guys do? After I was uni? working in sales in a oh. language school. In a what? A language school. Wow. So I would like in Korea promote our language school in England. Oh. I would go around. I was working in East Asia, so I'd travel to China, back home, okay. travel a bit to Korea, Japan, Thailand, right. all over the place, and be like, "This is why you should come to this language school." Okay. And uh, Ollie was working in a charity. Yeah, I was. I was working. I got really lucky because we graduated in two thousand nine, mm. so it was right after the financial crisis. Right. Tough time. And okay. it was just impossible to get a job. Right. And a lot of our friends really struggled and had to do interning. And uh, it was just a tough time to get a job. Right. But I was I somehow managed to get this job. This new uh, homelessness shelter mm -hmm. was being set up um, in East London. It was like a, a collaboration between seven churches. Wow. And each yeah. church would volunteer their building and a group of volunteers, like a team of five people, right. for one night a week. Oh, okay. And then each night, uh, the, the shelter would move to... So a Monday night would be St. Paul's. Mon uh, Tuesday night would be Christchurch. And sh and in London, they're all like... There's churches everywhere, right? right. The, the problem isn't space. Um, yeah. So they needed someone to essentially run that. So you were doing that. And I did that like straight out of university, wow. no experience. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly I'm like basically having a sleepover with 15 homeless guys every night. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're and, managing a like, It's yeah. slightly wow. more yeah. random than yeah. that, but yeah. And uh, so I got really lucky, to be honest, because that was a job. It didn't pay much. It paid, I don't know, it paid probably $16,000 a year. So like in it's London, a job. that's yeah. a really hard, it's yeah. really hard to live off that. Yeah. But it was amazing, and i I got to spend I got to spend time with people, you know, homeless people, which was a real privilege. You know, people who had just been dealt a really bad hand right. in life, and uh, also got to work with uh, the community in East London. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, we had three, four hundred volunteers mm -hmm. who went on rotation, and we provided the well. It still does provide to this day the largest provision of free accommodation for the homeless in, awesome. in East London. So, yeah, I was doing that and and you were in a language school, but five years in, or four and a half years in. It was like two years for me. You must have graduated. You graduated a I, year before a me. A year. Because I did a language It felt like course. five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like forever. It was a yeah. long time. We were just a bit jaded. We were both yeah. broke. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, we we're still good friends and we we're like, oh man. We kind of wanted to do some work together. Yeah. Something a bit more creative. Okay. And we looked back to our uni days and we're like, man, those were the days, dude. Just going around, making videos, not going to classes, doing what we wanted and just yeah. for fun. And so we just thought about how we could make videos more, how we could work and do okay. something different, yeah. something creative. And, uh, Ollie's producing ability, making videos, and my Korean language just kind of ended up putting together and the perfect Young Gangnam just started. Yeah. Man, what was your first video? Oh gosh. I kinda don't want to tell. No, I we, we, because then really people will look it up oh, it and so they'll bad. watch it. Oh, it so bad. If we tell Eric, we'll just have to make it private. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we actually, so we like planned it out. We were like, mm -hmm. if we're gonna, we watched so much YouTube in uni. Mm. Right. So much YouTube. I mean, it was ridiculous. That was kind of all we did, other than trying to make videos. But uh, we planned it out and we were like, you know what? We should have a video where we explain what the channel is gonna be about. Uh huh. So that people know when they come to this channel, this is, this is, what's, this is yeah. what's happening. But then no one's gonna see that. So we should make another video that we upload simultaneously. That like could go viral. Okay. And so you know what? No, I don't think anyone's done this before. So let's go out on the streets of London and feed people some Korean food, like kimchi. That's gonna be so foreign to them. They're not gonna have yeah. any idea what this is. Yeah. Let's ask them what they think about Korea, and just see what like the average random person in London thinks about Korea. So we went out. Terrible idea. Did that. I mean, <laughs> it, was, it was terrifying. Idea. Literally, random people do not want you to go up to them and ask them stuff with a <laughs> yeah, camera, apparently. Yeah, they really That's don't. what we discovered. Yeah. It was, like, people cussing us out. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 like, 
Yeah, it was bad. There were a lot of bloopers from that. Yeah, well, there you go. We, a lot of anger. It was tough. A lot of anger. And uh, but we tough put, times, dude. <laughs> we pushed through. We did. Yeah. I remember. It out I in remember the end. Can you can we swear? <clears throat> yeah, you can do whatever you want. So <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I remember literally the first guy. Oh yeah. Uh, who we go up to? Yeah. He just goes. I'm not gonna swear. I, don't <laughs> I was like, but dude, you go for it. He, you he just like, for it. He just like. Yeah. Like that, like in Josh's face. Up. Literally yeah. in Josh's face. Oh man. We were like, we're, like, doing some, we're filming a video for YouTube. And he just goes, F YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave and then you that, on. And then, the self doubt creeps in at that moment. Yeah. You're like, is my life a mistake? Remember, we literally had zero, sub- well, maybe one subscriber at that point. We didn't even mom. have a channel at that point, did we? Yeah, probably not. I don't know. But um, so, yeah, we. We were out in Camden and we filmed this episode. And then we managed to speak to like a couple of people who were nice to us. Yeah. And then Ooh, we decided to go down by Camden Canal. People who know London will know Camden is on like Regent Canal. And uh, and we there was this guy parked to the side of the road. Mm-hmm. And he parked was in a canal boat. In a canal lived boat. In a canal boat. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I should have clarified that. It was that. his house. Wow. And also a, a boat. Okay. And he was this crazy. It sounds very luxurious, actually. It was yeah. N- yeah. not luxurious. Yeah. It's like, think of, it's do like you have less caravans? Than a meter width. Caravan, like, like a, like a, a, like a mobile trailer. home? Yeah. Trailer home. An RV. Yeah. 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 It's like an RV, but like on a quarter of the size and very, on the water. On water. Yeah. And very, very thin. But he had a beautiful boat and it was yeah. covered in flowers. Yes. And he also had a high pitched German voice, German accent. I'm so excited to see where this is and, going. Uh, and we were like, hey man, you know, would you like to try some Korean food? And he's like, oh yeah, I'd love to. That would be so lovely. <laughs> yeah, and then we were like, yeah. what? Okay. That just yeah. sounded like the gingerbread man yeah. from Shrek. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> so that was great. And yeah. then, and then, you know, Please do he's trying it. And, he, and <laughs> he's trying it. And as he's trying it, I'm like, oh, could we get a tour of your boat? And he's like, oh yeah, come on, come on board. And um, we ended up just having this amazing. We start to walk on, and we're like, "Oh, there's a bell there. What's that bell do?" Oh, it's the sex bell. You just ring the bell. You have sex. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. He's like, "Yeah, don't ring it." <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And, uh, and we were like, "Oh, this is magic. This is so much we fun." We caught it all on camera. That's yeah. great. Kind of. So, is that up on YouTube as well? That yeah. was our first ever upload, wow. and that yeah, that somehow blew up, my friend. In Korea, I mean, we uploaded it. No one watched it. Mm. My friend shared it on like a Korean Reddit, right. Onura Yuma. Right, and that was huge. Back, back then, then yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it blew up, and we had pff, like thirty thousand subscribers at the end of that day. First upload, That's crazy. Yeah. We had, yeah, we at that time we had, I think, email notifications on every time we got a comment, <laughs> yeah, or a, or like a subscriber, uh, and yeah. so then our ma- email was like. You have 50,000 new subscribers. Wow. We did not, from nothing. And so we did not sleep that night. Yeah. It was just like, what is happening? Wow. And we talked about like potential of going viral or whatever, like dreamt about this happening for a long time. And then it just flipping happened on the first video. That's so crazy. Yeah. So what are the chances? So, yeah. so this happens, when was it when you guys were, <clears throat> I mean, I feel like you lived here for a while, like. So I lived. I lived here for one year. That's the for only time I've ever lived here. Okay. Uh, when was that? That was in two thousand eight to two thousand nine. Okay, so back in the day. So that's like before all this YouTube stuff. Oh yeah, a long time ago. So you've just been traveling back and forth, both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how often are you guys in Korea? It's so since we started the channel, it's just been getting more and more frequent. I we can't really come more frequently than we currently than we do. do. Yeah, we we have a rule that we don't come for more than two weeks. Okay. Because why is that? Well, we're both married, mm-hmm. and I have a a two year old little girl, and our families are very much based in in the UK. Right. Yeah. Communities we, in the UK. We used to come for longer periods of time, mm-hmm. but we found that it was just really negatively affecting our family life. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's just not worth that. It's mm-hmm. Like nothing's mm-hmm. worth that. Right. And um, so. We we the maximum we would ever stay is two weeks, and if we if we have to come for longer than that, we will bring our families with us. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But ideally, we'll come for shorter than that um, if we can squeeze everything in. Yeah, 
And it means that somehow we managed to maintain like a community life in London where we live very boring, very, very <laughs> We are not dope in lives. the UK. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> as soon as we enter the yeah. UK, we lose the dope badge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just give it up. They take it away from you. What exactly. do people back home think about you guys and like what you're doing? Is it, they're like, what? They just find it hilarious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, to yeah. them, it's so, it's so like otherworldly. Um, and it's strange because, you know, with our second channel, Jolly, we have a much more international audience. Mm-hmm. So it's made things come a lot more close to home. Okay. You know, we'll be walking five minutes walk away from our house and people will come up in the street and say hi. And that's like, that's a strange collision of worlds for right. us. Yeah. We're used to living a very quiet life in, in West London. Uh-huh. Um, and then it all kind of being crazy when we're out here in Korea. But uh, yeah, those worlds feel like they're colliding a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, bit. we have the best, the best experience of mm. like D-list celebritydom in that <laughs> in, in that we get to come to Korea, yeah. and it's like a lot of people on the street will recognize us, but in a way that they they're just like kind of our friends. Uh huh. Yeah. And then we go back to London, and we're by and large if we avoid like touristy areas we're like completely anonymous uh-huh. and no one cares yeah and then it's like a fun thing to t- talk Keeps about us grounded. dinner parties right that's good yeah. yeah that's good that's good so i mean i feel like most people if it, you know singers or youtubers or artists or move, like actors they all have like one video that really took them mm, to that, that next blows up. level yeah yeah i feel like you guys have had a lot of viral videos but what was yeah the one that you guys can like pinpoint that you think was a really big changing factor. Food that Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, for <laughs> <laughs> it was that one. Yeah. yeah. So for people who don't know what Purdak yeah. Pokemon <clears throat> is, it's crazy. It's Satan's Ramyun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so could you walk us through a little sure. bit of this video? There's a backstory. Right. So our actual like after the first initial viral kind of hit, right? We had a few random videos, and then our second viral hit was we opened a mailbox, and a bunch of people from Korea and kind of all over sent us, that, yeah. sent us boxes. Yeah. Like we had like sixty huge boxes to open all at once. We opened them all, we uploaded that onto YouTube, and it hit the Naver homepage. Mm-hmm. It was the first time back in 2013 I'd ever seen a, a YouTube video linked right on the Naver homepage. Right, and for people uh, who don't know, Naver is like the it's the portal that runs Korea. The pretty internet much. Here. Pretty it's much, Korean yeah. Google. Yeah. 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 And so that was nuts. That was, that was crazy. And it blew up. And the one thing that like most, the thing that was in most of the boxes that we were like, oh, people really want us to try this was Bruta Oh gosh. This spicy new oh, noodle. Man. And at the time it was like a Shinjepun. It was new. Brand new. No one had any idea really what this thing was. But I guess a lot of our fans were like, oh, there's this new thing. It's supposed to be super spicy. It'll be funny to see them try it. Oh. Uh, and so we went out with a bunch of our friends and we're like, hey, let's do this. This is going to be even funnier if we film in front of like London landmarks yeah. to bring this like collision of cultures, yeah. even kind of emphasize it more. Right. Uh, and we just tried it, and each of us tried to finish a pot by ourselves. We and called it the Budak Pokemon Dojon mm-hmm. Fire Noodle Challenge. Fire Noodle Challenge. And which, I've never tried it. You just, what? I don't want to. What? I don't want to live on a toilet, bro. <laughs> Dude. Like, I don't want to do that. What? You're not a big spice. I mean, I can deal with spice, but man. like the idea yeah. of like me being miserable, yeah. it doesn't turn me on. <laughs> it's not dope. Like, yeah. like, it's not Fair dope. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You know? yeah. 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 I mean, it is, it is crazy spicy. So that was a thing. And that became a flipping viral challenge on YouTube. Yeah, it did. And you look it up now. You Google like the fire noodle challenge. Everybody's and it's all these videos. You, you won't even see our video in yeah. like the top list. Yeah. Really? There's but way there's so there's many people all over the world right. who have like more views than way our original ones. Really? Yeah. But you guys were the original. Which, you guys but, were like yeah. yeah, I mean I think yeah. our fans like made that happen. We yeah. would never would have known to do that. That's amazing. But they sent it to us, so we made it a challenge and then somehow it became a thing. We knew it was a real deal when Samyang Foods, the company oh, that manufactured yeah. it, yeah. like sent us a bot like a massive sent us two boxes. Two massive boxes of it (laughs) and like a book that they'd made, like a commemorative book. book. Oh, really? Like screenshots from our video. 
and screenshots of comments and then like letters from employees. Wow. And we, was nuts. And we were like, how much money are you making from this, <laughs> yeah. right? Like and then we heard much- a couple of years ago crazy. from one of the guys who mm. led the chief importers of Korean food uh-huh. into the UK. He was like, when the fire noodle challenge happened, they sold out of fire noodle, wow. like puta pokemon globally. Wow. They to this out. day. I you guys remember. should have gotten paid for that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I think to this day, he said they sell something like, what was it? Like 15,000 boxes a year or something? Maybe it was a month. A month. I don't even remember. It was, it was an it unbelievable was like, oh, In the UK. In the UK? Yeah. yeah. It was that's un- how much that's they import crazy. and they sell out. Yeah, it's, it's like a it's phenomenon. Crazy. You guys definitely need like a revenue share on that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, where are the royalties? That office, yeah. like, Yo, where are the royalties? Well, they sent us a commemorative book. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's that goes for life. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know? This is yeah. true. Yeah. Um, all Money right. It doesn't um, bring happiness. And so for, for people who are not familiar with you guys. So yes. you have these videos and uh, <laughs> you're, you have all sorts of different series now. And I guess we started getting… Closer because mm-hmm. we started doing the similar thing of interviewing a lot of yes. celebrities yeah. who are coming to Korea. Yeah. So I would do like… I do… Even like yesterday. Wait. Was it yesterday? Uh, yeah. It was yesterday. Time flies. I think yeah. it was yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. So yesterday it was the Terminator junket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I did like the newer… New Terminator people. Rev and nine. you guys yeah. took on Arnold and… What's your name? Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. Sarah um, Connor, yeah. And then I guess like the last time we saw each other was in Hungary for Will Smith. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. A couple yeah. weeks back. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, wait. Should, can we just say, isn't Will Smith amazing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, that needs. Yes, I love that <laughs> man. <laughs> so everyone loves him. Oh yeah. my gosh. But then yeah. I feel like everyone in the world should meet him. You know, uh, yeah. like he's better. You need to run that by him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. he's better than his persona. He's better in real he's life. He's great. Yeah. He's better in real life than, and he's pretty good. In, Even like, on screen. On whatever. screen. Yeah. But you, I don't know about you. When he came into the room, he shakes everyone's hand. Exactly. He turned out, he turned up five minutes early. <laughs> like, who does yeah. that? Who does that? Nobody yeah. does that. Right? And yeah. he was just honestly the most charming person Abs- I think I've I ever met. I wholeheartedly agree. Mm-hmm. I I think it was on like one of the previous podcasts. I said my new favorite interview of all time is Will Smith. Wow, mm-hmm. yeah, like yeah. by far. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Like Fair we've enough. done a lot. Like I've done a lot. You guys have done a ton. You guys were recently with what David Beckham? Yeah, that yeah. was crazy. Um, oh my god, that, ter- like- that was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why was that? that? Child in British. Heroes. Right. Literally, the first time I cried, the first time I can this remember is crying, uh-huh. is in 1998 when he got sent off in the World Cup. And you cried. And I knew we're down to 10 men. There's you no were chance what, we're coming like 11? back. 11? 11. That's yeah. the first time I can remember crying. I mean, I definitely cried before then. I wasn't like a soulless child. <laughs> who was like, oh, the baby's hungry. He's just staring Demon into child. the abyss. <laughs> no, I definitely did cry. But the first time I can remember right. crying was that. And then, and then the second time I can remember crying. Oh no. Was with joy in 2001 when he scored, <laughs> <laughs> he scored the equalizer in the 93rd minute oh my gosh. to take us into the World Cup oh finals. Oh my gosh! David so, Beckham hype man over here. I feel like for every English, every English person yes. who grew who is our age, uh-huh. mm-hmm. David Beckham is a part of our upbringing. And it he, just he's doesn't a part get of bigger us. than David Football Beckham. is so big in the it UK, is, right? Yeah, it is. And when the World Cup is on. Oh, the Everything European shuts Cup. down. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. And he was literally our only hope for like 15 years. <laughs> Seriously. And uh, so it That's, was yeah. kind of scary to meet him in person. So what was that experience like when you met him? Do you… Like what did you say to him? I was, you, <laughs> I was literally like a kid. He was literally there, like… There's, there's, there's a clip at the end. What a chance. Like we're editing it right now someone. and I want to cut it. But perfect. everyone else finds it hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's at the end. I'm with a hat. He's signing a hat for me. And you can just hear my like fragile, almost like prepubescent voice yeah. being like, Thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, I just kicked the table. <laughs> so so embarrassing. Embarrassing. Genuinely though, honestly. I've never heard that oh level of sincerity God. from all his like, voice. Honestly, oh he just my goes, God. Thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the depths of his heart. Seriously. <laughs> Poured oh out my in that one line. Yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> did he yeah. did he even respond to that? Just, no, he did. He I mean, he's David Beckham, right? right. So he, you know, Gentleman. such a gent. I mean, he reduces grown yeah. men to kind of yeah. these prepubescent these, children. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. He he seemed like he was totally used to it. Yeah. Uh, but Definitely. he was charming and, and gracious. I was and, just happy he's a foodie. Honestly. Yeah, what'd you guys eat? Looking at him, he was so skinny. I was like, this guy, anything we give him, he's probably going to be like, no, I can't. I've already mm. had my salad for today. Mm. We gave him hanu, like marbled oh, so to the next level. Yeah. We went to our best hanu restaurant where the guy hooked us up. It's Yoido Sengugi. Okay. Just a little shout out to that guy because yeah. he hooked us up with all the meat for okay. free. Super nice dude. I mean, it's Beckham. Too, yeah, exactly. Way. And he yeah. was like, "Yo, I want to, I want to give this guy good food." And yeah. the meat was unreal. And uh, Beckham saw all the food, and he was like, "Yes, I re- he's really understated." So he's like yeah. super chill. Okay, but he was like, "Oh yes, I love a good barbecue." And I was just like, "All right, also, that is, go- I'm happy. I'm I, so happy." I don't know whether we can share this, but we okay. were supposed to have 20 minutes with him. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. And he just kept extending the interview. That's he was like, can you, put, like, can you put some more meat yeah, on? Can we get some more of that? We, had, we were with him for 35 I minutes. Tr- I haven't tried that cut yet. Can we, uh, can we have that one that's as well? That's awesome. So good. But yeah, that's like so the most good. rewarding part of when you're doing best. an interview. And like yeah. the act is just like, I'm cool to, I'm cool to keep going. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so good. Like that was me and Jamie Foxx. We were supposed to get oh, five really? minutes. And I got like 30 or something. Wow. So I that's stepped out afterwards. And every all the other reporters… Like started clapping. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. They, That's amazing. They don't play the sound, but you could watch the monitors inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I walked out and everybody just started clapping. I was like… Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Like, <laughs> I feel so good. Yeah, yeah So I completely yeah. understand. You're just running on so much adrenaline. Yeah. It's just like a yeah. high. Yeah. Because like for me, Jamie Foxx, I was like, I grew up watching his movies. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a yeah. singer. He does… He's, he's, he's basically the world's most talented person. Uh, insane. So up yeah. until Will yeah. Smith… He was my favorite interview. Okay. Right. So. Right. Fair play. Yeah. Fair play. But, yeah. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> See, I'm really… Yeah, no, it's guy. interesting insight. It's, <laughs> it's, interesting. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy that like we've both ended up doing the same thing. Because we first met… Right. YouTube Fan Fest. Which, as I told you earlier today, yeah. was an anxiety attack for me. <laughs> well, it you were, just a, you hit it well. A full blown. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing an adult diaper and just like letting little bits of like my bodily fluids go. Oh, and no. I was like trying not to die. <laughs> but um, that was like totally hidden from us. Yeah. Thank you did, God. You did, you did not show. Oh, You're, you've got a good game face. And see that. I feel like for me, it just shows. You know, I'm like, Thank no, you. it doesn't show. Thank it's just you, on David. your palms. <laughs> 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 Thank you, David. Oh, no, no. Yeah. oh man, no, we met uh, YouTube Fan Fest probably 2014 or mm-hmm. yeah, probably 14 around, uh, yeah, maybe 15. Then. But I was telling them earlier today that it was tough because uh, I did not know what I was saying. I was just reading off cue cards and yeah. I would just mess it up constantly. Yeah, and this came off the back of Ollie really perfecting Korean today. Perfect, yeah, yeah. perfecting mastering and mastering finally, the language. Finally nailed it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Ever the encourager. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I but I mean, like you guys are doing, you know, you're having conversations with the biggest people in the world, right? The How Avengers, the heck did we David get here? Beckham, yeah. Will Smith. What's, where do you see this going? What do you want to do? Good like, question. I mean, Jolly honestly, Cast, though, obviously, but like yeah. what else? Jolly Cast, yeah. <laughs> uh, I honestly, I think… This whole journey of the last six years has been so insane. Mm. And we've had a lot of ambitions throughout. Like, I would l- love to be able to take this and, and use this concept and apply it here. And, you know, we did our first Burdak Bokumyon Dojon with a right. bunch of our friends right. feeding them Korean food for the first time. And we we're like, there are so many good Korean foods we could do with them. Right. Let's give them more Korean. And so then we did loads of other Korean foods with them and those went viral. Right. And then we were like, we're really good at giving Korean food to people and introducing it. Why don't we do it to people like we don't know? Right. What, what about if a celebrity comes to Korea? And then that kind of started. And then it's just escalated so quickly and kind of gotten out of our control that it feels like we're just we're just trying to stay on top of things. Yeah. We're just trying to do Still, the best we can at every really. opportunity that comes. Um, but there's so much that's coming in. You guys are way. killing it. I mean, YouTube is… Mm. It is it's like anything in media, right? It, the best thing about it is it changes every week. Right. But the worst thing about it is that it, it changes, changes every, every week. week. Mm. So, uh, and so it doesn't lend itself to to long forward thinking. Mm-hmm. 
but then also the medium of making videos for YouTube doesn't lend itself to that either. So, for example, we're uploading the David Beckham episode tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. We have to upload it then. It's not finished right now. <laughs> you know, like, like we're, we're still working on it. I mean, it's almost, it's almost there. Oh, it's it? almost but, there. Yeah. Yeah. But then, and, and we filmed episodes for the next two weeks, but after that, we have nothing. Uh-huh. And it, so it's it it does feel like you're constantly like chasing the rainbow, right? Yeah. But then that's the only way you can do it. You can't you you can't th- you can't predict what is going to be popular in six right. months time, right? Yeah. Um, Just kind of going with the flow. Yeah, and try not to be too hard on yourself either. Mm-hmm. You know, like we've always tried to experiment and push what we're doing and and take ourselves out of our comfort zone and that means inevitably you're going to fail and right. yeah. you're going to you're going to do things that you're like oh I wish we'd done that differently but that's also the joy of getting to do this mm-hmm. job yeah. you know you get to be creative as it is easy to lose sight of that and I think we're just I just try and remember we're so privileged to be in yeah. a in a job where we can be creative and we can yeah, push yeah. those boundaries and we're allowed to um fail mm-hmm. and um you know, just and then keep going on and trying new things. Yeah, and it's it's incredible. I really like the position we're in right now. Is something we just never could have expected. That it's quite overwhelming, but also leads us to keep thinking. You know, so, well, you know, like you said, what's next? Yeah. What else can we do? Uh, recently, our most recent series, we brought twins to Korea. One of them was a, a major in the UK army. One of them's yeah. a priest. Uh, it's a crazy story. Don't even ask me how that happened. But uh, the fact that like bringing a major in the army to a different country, you have to get all these permissions from his superiors. And then we thought, you know, he's in the army. It'd be really fun if we went to the Korean army and did some experiences there. Right. Then you got to get like permissions from both governments. It's a lot. But we, it, we made it happen somehow. And the fact that we could then do a series on a Korean army base was like, this is nuts. Mm. And they loved it. The... The people we were working with in Korea had a great right. time, it seemed like. Mm. They seemed happy. They want to do something else again. Yeah. So the fact that we can do stuff like that is like, okay, well, we just got to, you know, sky's the limit. Yeah. We just got to keep thinking of stuff. I mean, it's exciting. I feel like you guys are always mm. pushing the envelope with new stuff. Mm. And I think the the general Korean public, like everybody knows you guys by now, I feel. <laughs> oh, I mean, if you guys are shooting endorsements <laughs> yeah. and commercials, yeah. I… I can't wait for this new one to come out that you're telling me about where you're just awkwardly the third wheel. Uh, oh, I'm like oh really excited. I'm like I keep thinking yeah. about that. I'm like I can't wait to just see it. I don't even know if we can talk about that yet. We, I literally don't think we can. <laughs> there we, was, did a, we did an, out, there's a, a an advert. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's like a promo for a, an unnamed brand that rhymes yeah. with… So what Nam are you doing? <laughs> you're an idiot. You are an idiot. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm it's, named. it's uh, uh, it involved me going on holiday with Josh and Gabby. This is uh, true. Gabby's Josh's wife. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Well, his second wife. I like to refer oh, no. to myself as this the is, first okay. wife. Okay. Because this I is, knew Josh first. This is strange. I was his first love. This is so strange. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this needs background context yeah. that I can't even I'm give. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, that was that was fun. But th- there's just so uh, you must have this as well, right? There's mm. so many things. There's so many things that we do that I just stop myself. I'm like, holy crap! What that's, just happened? That's Will Smith yeah. sitting right there. Yeah. You know, like I yesterday with Arnold Schwarzenegger, I challenged him to a stare off. Who won? Who do you think, Eric? Yeah, he's literally you, the Terminator. <laughs> he's the Terminator. He's the Terminator. I mean, he's 72 years old. Yeah. Can we just say he's 72? Does not make him less the Terminator. It, he is just as much terminating. So. He has yeah. to be yeah. so daunting. Yeah, no, yeah. seriously. Like, Terrifying. just everything about him. He terminated my self-esteem. <laughs> my, everything everything yeah. was terminated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you do take a moment. You step back mm. and you're like, this is really freaking crazy. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, so I guess… <laughs> there, there is one… Let's see. We have a couple things that we want to do. We have some okay. very quick… Not games. Oh, there will be conversation points. Activities. Activities. All right. Activities. activities. Clearly I'm not very good at this. Um, all right. I so like activities. You guys have been friends. Josh and Ollie. Jolly, you have been friends 
yes. for over 10 years now. Yes, it's true. You referred to yourself as his first wife. Mm-hmm. That's very odd. Um, Don't, let's not get into that. So considering you guys know each other so well. Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we're going to have you answer about each other's first. Fantastic. We're going right. to test it. Yeah, we're okay. going to test it. We're going to get into the nitty gritty. Okay. If you actually know the answer, right. that's great. Let us know. If not, come up with your best guess of okay. what you okay. think is Ooh, the first. Okay, I like this. All like right? This. Yeah. So, first one. Uh, first date. First, first date. date. What? With our current Whoever. spouses or well, you could, ever? You, let's go Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea. We- I- that is a This long is where we get very ago. creative yeah. here. Okay. Where okay, do you imagine? imagine. How do you, what do you first think Josh's date. first date was? And then we'll see if it was right. First date. Well, I would guess that it would be in China. Mate, 12 years old, that's that's late in the game, bro. <laughs> late in the game. Wow. <laughs> I was starting young. Mate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Catering. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Just throwing out my hometown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, could have been. Depends what you define as I don't a know, date. It feels really. almost like a vi- violation to speculate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, well, I'll go. Yeah. So, me. all right. So, you and Lizzie, your wife, are like mm-hmm. childhood sweethearts. Yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. they met when they were like what sixteen or something. Yeah. So I'm going to go with you guys on a first date. I can imagine that happening. And uh, let me think. What would you guys be doing? I can already sense an insult coming. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you're both quite eccentric personalities. Yeah, Yeah. here it comes. And you, even then, you were, I'd say, even more eccentric. Qualifying. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say you went out there. You probably tried to do something romantic, a little bit embarrassing. Okay. And she. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> holding on to myself. <laughs> Can't be worse uh, than no. saying thank you, David. But on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I know anything about Lizzie, I bet she wasn't phased at all. I, mean, I one of you definitely would have done something very embarrassing, like farting in public. And the other one probably would have been like, you know what? If that person has the confidence to do that, admitting it, then, you know, I reckon they're, I reckon they're a good match. So you think, so <laughs> yeah. I just want to take, I just, I just want to take the summary, a summary, yeah. right? That's, okay, yeah, that's what I'm it. going with. That's what I'm going with. At some point, yeah. when I first met Lizzie, yeah. I took her on a date. Yeah. I was generally embarrassing in like, yeah. in, in a generalized way. <laughs> yeah. That probably meant that I farted, but she was okay with it. Yeah, or she farted and you were okay with it. Okay. Who, who knows? Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to Either be way. clear. I just yeah. wanted to be clear. Yeah. No, yeah. or something like that. That's just, I was giving an example, you know, people at home, yeah. they might not be able to imagine what do I mean by something embarrassing. But now they're imagining mm-hmm. me farting. Now they know. Right. Yeah. All, like, well, a really loud tens one. Tens of thousands of people who don't know you. <laughs> a really loud yeah. one. Now just imagining but, you farting. And you accepting responsibility, you know. I'd be like, not ashamed. Sorry. Not ashamed. That was me. That was me. And I'll do the like, right thing. Take the higher ground. Yeah. I, you know, I like a man with integrity. <laughs> okay. Boom. Okay. That <laughs> sounds like a first great sight. first yeah. date. There you go. Molly, I'm really yeah. glad that happened. Okay. All the Jolly Beans at home, there's uh, people who watch our okay, channel, yeah, Jolly, yeah. Th- I bet you they'll agree with me. Okay. That, I, I just want to clarify that. for the record that this didn't happen. Oh. We're talking about it now okay. already. Okay. okay. Like well, it did happen. This is just something that Josh did. summoned from his did. imagination. I mean, at some point, I okay. bet it happened. I mean, I was it smelly? Was it really bad? It didn't happen. It did. I sh- was it like, like I never was fought. it a silent killer? I, or? I, oh no, I do fart occasionally, okay. like all human beings. But <laughs> okay. Um, first, thing is, yeah. I don't, I don't really remember my first date what? with Lizzie. I don't remember my first date. What? Ever? Gosh. I don't know. I I do remember Lizzie and I like to go to Regent's Park. Uh huh. Which is a really beautiful park in London. And take one of those like Korean camping stoves and cook like spam. What? Are you allowed to do that? You did this in London? Fried fried spam Isn't that illegal? Probably. But I like to live on the edge. When did you do that? Like the the law isn't going to get between me and my fried spam sandwiches. Okay. I thought you were going to say between you and your wife. But you know, the sandwiches are good too. (laughs) The fried spam sandwiches. (laughs) (laughs) Those will do it. Uh, 
I just want to shift the uh, focus onto okay. your first sure. date. Let's do it. Actually, have I already done yours? My imaginary you said, one. No, you, you said, said just King China. China. Yeah, that was that like was, it. That was Josh weak. was like, no. That was weak. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, I feel like I lost that round. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the next one. It's a competition. Yeah. Uh, first time getting a little too tipsy. Ooh. This had to. Oh, I know the answer to this. Yes. No, actually, yeah, maybe I don't. I'm sure. I'm going to go first. Go I'm for go it. First again. So, in uni, we used to be. Okay, I mean, we were uni students. We have both had our student loans. Mm-hmm. You, you, we are living on a budget tight budget right so we don't have a lot of money go to a, uh, get a pub and get a pint in london that's expensive mm. Mm. on the other hand who does that yeah on the other yeah not uni students uh on the other hand going to tesco or one of the like cheap a, supermarkets yeah there, you can get a bottle of basics alcohol What's basics so basics is like the the cheapest possible line so big supermarkets so it's like rubbing alcohol they do like blind. cheap line it's they like own cheap. brand oh yeah, so it's like no name brand kind of thing right okay, exactly cool. but like the no name brand they have like the standard product the luxury no name brand product and the cheap no name brand product so like okay. sainsbury's basics or tesco value yeah is the cheap stuff the like the tesco vodka i think actually might just be paint cleaner or something that terrible. Just legally weird, that is not an accusation. <laughs> <laughs> I wash my hands with this. Uh, yeah. So, but you got the, you guys used to get the gin <laughs> because did, gin yeah. is, is, is unlike vodka, it's tricky. You know, it doesn't have that strong of a taste. Mm-hmm. You mix it, it with some tonic water, a bit of lemon, a bit of lime. Mm-hmm. It's easy going. Right. And, uh, Man, this is going to make us sound like really weird uni students, but we we didn't actually have proper glasses Mm-mm. in our house. Nobody does. So uh, one time, I I think maybe this was when I was in Korea. I remember you guys telling me there's a thing we used to do when I was there too. We used to make gin and tonics in big empty Nutella jars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know the the big Nutella jars, yeah, like the, the huge big ones. ones. Yeah. yeah, you just fill it with ice. Yeah, and a gin with like a basics gin. Yeah. Which that stuff can get you. And it's hard to keep track of how much you're drinking. Yeah. In 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 a a Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And the ice melts and you're like, oh, that probably all the stuff I just drank was mostly ice. Yeah. Yeah. Top it up with gin. You should. Definitely. You got to. Death. Dangerous. Very dangerous. And uh, yeah, I remember hearing some stories. Mm -hmm. Accidental over drinking. But I love we, how Josh just like deflected that. He was like, we lived it. This is something that we did together. But they probably did it when I wasn't in the I country. remember <laughs> hearing the story. And the thing is, I, I remember a specific story about our other flatmate, yep. not you, ben. who we, or he's like the least uh, crazy guy. You know, you got some guys who are like party animals. Right. Ben is not a party animal. Yeah. No. I don't know if you're listening to this, Ben. We love you. But uh, he's not a party animal. And so I heard this story that they drank so much that like literally he woke up and was just like vomiting everywhere yeah. from drinking so <gasps> much. Yeah. And I was like, what? But apparently they were just sitting at home like watching stuff on the projector. I felt bad. <laughs> TV. I, I felt bad. Drinking I basics felt gin and bad. tonics. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you guys weren't even like going out. Getting no, like just, blind no. wasted. That honestly is one of the worst nights of my university no. career. <laughs> yeah, Are it you was. Because we just lost track of how much was in the Nutella oh jar. Yeah. <laughs> It's easy to do, people. We it's were watching, easy. I think, like 1922, Dracula, Nosferatu. We used, wow. we used to like project uh, our Hitchcock films uh-huh. yeah. on the projector. We went into the movies. Nights. And we yeah. just lost track of time and of our alcohol consumption. <laughs> and it just came back to bite Ben. And the yeah. nicest guy is just puking on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he was the sweetest like the dude. Sweetest, sweetest dude. guy. Oh, man. Yeah. That's brutal. He didn't even have like a good, mer- you know, he didn't even like meet anyone special yeah. or oh, it was have a, a special club party. He just got killed. Yeah, just, he was just watching Nos- Nosferatu. <laughs> yeah. And vomiting. Drinking Nutella. Yeah. Can't job. wait to meet Ben, Gin guys. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> the problem yeah. is that's, I mean, that's kind of our uni lives. We didn't, you know, instead of partying, we made videos and yeah. pranked each other and then stayed in and watched stuff on the projectors. It's all good. Yeah. It sounds yeah. fun. It was fun. Yeah, was good. Good. But now it's time for Josh's first drunk story. Oh, what gosh. happened, Ollie? Oh, I gosh. know this much that it was probably quite late. Because you What's had a, oh, you yeah. had a pretty sheltered I did. I had a childhood. Very, yeah. And adolescence. Oh, that's a good point. For your first, it was definitely when you were like yeah. 15. Uh, younger, probably. <laughs> you, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You weren't sheltered. No. You grew up in London. Yeah. You had the, the rough London, London town. Yeah. teenage life. But, I mean, I, I was... 
I wasn't a particularly bad kid, but um, I certainly <laughs> wasn't as sheltered as you. Okay, yeah. So your, I reckon your first time yeah. drinking a little too much was probably a university. Definitely, yeah. What happened? Never got drunk when I was a teenager. Just what happened? Happen. I mean, I remember... I mean, it's so goofy when you look back on the things that we did. Yeah, we just seem like so silly kids. Yeah, because we're, we're like eighteen. Don't really know You've got anything. no idea. You don't. You don't you know, know what, what life doing. is about. Yeah. You know. I remember somebody in, in our hall of residence Reckless. was like, "Oh, you can put skittles into oh, vodka." Oh yeah, we <laughs> used to do it. that. <laughs> like, did you, about that. You hear skittles about that? and vodka. You could do gummy bears and vodka. Yeah. yeah, and if you leave them in there and put it in the freezer for like four hours, vodka doesn't freeze. It doesn't. So it just gets it's cold like and the, slushy, just the, yeah, the, yeah. the Skittles mix in. But it goes like gray Tastes and becomes like this like radioactive sugar poison, alcoholic poison. Yep. Yeah, that'll mess you And uh, I remember Josh was just really into that idea. I loved that. One. You, <laughs> yeah. you got a sweet tooth. I do. Um, you know, do you remember we made Blavod shots? Oh, what? Yeah. Lava shot? It was like this niche vodka this that black had vodka. black dye in it. It was like, it, yeah, it was just like, we were like, oh, we're cool, we're drinking vodka, but it's black. black. Yeah. It's like colored the cool vodka. Kids. And we'd mix it with like fruit juice. <laughs> oh, There's gosh. a lot of embarrassing stories. <laughs> so I have so many that I can never speak of. Okay, okay. but you just ask people on Great. your podcast so, their stories. Okay. okay. I'll tell you one from college that is not me, but like I lived in a house with. 20 people. It was nine girls, ah, 11 those guys, are, those and are one good house. Those are good times. Those are good times. It was it was a radioactive so like a house. Chaos. Yeah. Something? Yeah. It was it was like a leadership house. Oh. Did it have a weird Greek name? No, it was like well, it was Omega called, Champions no, 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 or no, no. something. <laughs> we weren't about that. <laughs> okay. But we it was <laughs> we have this one friend who's a huge movie like buff and like like literature, everything like mm -hmm. um hilarious guy. He loved pulling pranks on people in the house. Classic. Okay. So Classic one day he decides to put, you know, Bengay? Bengay is like the icy hot. Oh, oh no. He yeah. decides to yeah. put icy hot yeah. on, on the toilet seat. On the toilet seat. Oh, yeah. We've been there. Yeah, we've of definitely the been there. Girls' bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, nah, that's a line. That's, that, that's, that's a, a line. line. That's a gentleman's it. line. Yeah. And <laughs> he crossed the gentleman line. And this is where it gets really Fine. bad. All over it. So this this girl was visiting the house uh, for like a study session of one of the girls, like a friend. And she went to the bathroom. She didn't even live there. She didn't even live Poor there. Lady. She wasn't even a member, but oh, she was just visiting. Yeah. And uh, she went to the bathroom, and then she was just like, "I feel crazy. Like, oh, no. I, I'm like I'm really cold, oh, and now it's really no. hot, and it's really painful." Oh, no. I don't really, I don't know what's going on. She went to <laughs> she went to the infirmary and I think she went to the ER because she was like having a full no. on like what what's going on. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. And then it just blew up the entire house. Like it was like of fight on fight, like people freaking out. This poor girl had no idea what she stepped into. Not even involved, yeah. yeah. Um and it turns out she transferred the next year. <laughs> no, she was just like I'm I don't out. Know. I, I don't think it was. Out. I don't want to think because of that issue. Yeah. Okay. But it was just when we thought back on it, we're like, "You really messed up that girl's it life." It definitely oh. contributed. It you definitely contributed. contributed. Yeah. yeah, you made a girl transfer, switch schools, because oh, you put icy hot on her toilet seat. Yeah, that's. I so mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg for for us. We yeah. probably shouldn't talk about our experiences yeah, with not. icy hot. Let's not. <laughs> but it was <laughs> not. It was traumatic. Why do so many pranks involve icy hot? I, I mean, don't know. It's really a, scary yeah. stuff yeah, if you think about it. It is. Yeah. But all right, last first impression. Um, we talked. We talked about when you guys first met each other. But mm -hmm. first impression of each other. Ooh, interesting. I don't know. Let's mm. be very honest here. You, I feel like okay. there's a lot okay. that you're trying to. You're so, trying to process. There was, a, right there was a lot. There was a lot. I'm gonna start this one. Yeah, go okay. for it. I think my first impression of Josh was that I, he is not like me, mm -hmm. but I. Like like he, I can be his friend. You could be his first wife. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> but we like, and I think that's something that has stayed true. <laughs> the first wife thing, but also the difference thing has yeah. stayed true throughout our whole friendship. Mm -hmm. I, one of the things we talk about is that we are not competing for mm. the same role in our content. Right. And or in life. Or in guess, life in, in general. general. Like yeah. we're different people and we're okay with that. We have different strengths. Mm. Mm. And it just so happens 
that a lot of Josh's strengths I'm really weak in, mm-hmm. and a lot of my strengths Josh is weak less in, strong in. Definitely, yeah. And uh, and that's just really it's it's weird looking back to that first day that I met Josh because mm-hmm. I remember thinking of all the people I've met today, I'm yeah. meeting like hundreds of people first day at university. Mm. This is the guy that I'm like, I I think we're gonna be good friends. Mm. Yeah. And but he was of all the people we met like one of the least like me as a person, mm. which is interesting. We studied like opposite things. I mean, I was studying Korean. You were right. studying… Development studies. Development and, studies and, and religion. Study of religions. Yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah. polar opposite. Polar opposite, yeah. Uh, like interests were pretty opposite. I mean, we liked… The, the thing that brought us together was kind of entertainment. Like uh-huh. films, music, yeah. YouTube. Right. We watched so much YouTube together. And… Uh, and then the rest of our interests, like, we were pretty different. We would yeah. read really different stuff. We're into a lot of different stuff. Even today, like, you yeah, generally don't off. recommend me, like, books. Yeah, yeah. And, and things like that. Yeah. You no, know? Ollie reads super depressing books. <laughs> I read really depressing books. Oh, my books. gosh. Oh, man. Yeah. Can't even like, handle. on what? He loves, like, know, like, deep, factual books about tragic historical events oh, or tragic no. current events. I read one recently that really yeah. bummed me out. <laughs> yeah, you know, it always bums you out. <laughs> you keep reading them. What was it about? He just like feeds off. I think of it was the about like negative all energy. Of the political upheaval that led from like 1970, uh-huh. like early 1970s until 9 11. Like everything uh-huh. that led up to that. Ollie's like the most. I finished it. I had to honestly, I had to like sit on my bed at home and just be like, just, just like have a moment. It was yeah. so depressing. Okay. Yeah. Ollie's like the most silly YouTube character ever. Yeah. But in real life, he's like incredibly academic and, and deep. And then kind of deeps himself out a little bit too yeah, much. Exactly. And so I feel like you rest, you revive yourself with yeah. just having fun, silly yeah. fun. Yeah. That's how you escape from your serious. <laughs> Thank you, David. Academic <laughs> side. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's interesting. I think I, I definitely got the perception that we like, we shared some things in common, which are really. Odd, yeah, mm. like unexpected, mm. and then other things that we just we weren't really similar, but that wouldn't affect like just the the ability to have fun together, yeah, um, which was cool. Like, I I didn't really you know at the time we didn't really know anyone, we didn't really have close friends, and that's something that's great about university is everyone is trying to figure out who they are, right? And if you are listening and you haven't been to university yet and you're nervous, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Everyone going to university is super nervous. No one has any idea what they're doing with their life. Yeah, Everyone's figuring it out. And what's so cool about it is it's, it's a bunch of people together figuring it out right. together. And hopefully you'll run into someone that's also figuring it out in a similar way that you are. You can share a couple of things. You can have some fun together. And that's what me and Ollie did. And we just had fun yeah. and connected over the things we did share. And... Uh, yeah, this kind of led to this. And I think what's great is that the, the the ways that we are different have benefited each other so much. Mm-hmm. You know, the things that he's interested in uh, that I I am not like I get enriched just through hearing about it from him, through mm-hmm. learning about it from right, him, right, right, and growing right. in that. All these depressing he, he's way more yeah <laughs> impressive, depressing oh, stuff. But really also like he's things. much more interested in politics and economics right. uh, than I am, and even I would say like in environmental issues and all this stuff. And I kind of I'm able to learn from yeah. that side of Ollie. I had more of an interest in specifically in Korea and this part of the world and a real passion for this. Right. Um, and both of us are kind of open to those ideas, but we had a different experiences and different knowledge. And so then Ollie, you know, has now become like much more knowledge about, about Korea and right. all this and stuff. And he's fluent and in Korean now. Exactly. Yeah. Who like, could have guessed? I heard you had like we tattooed filmed one video the alphabet with Nam. on your arm. Then, <laughs> not true. Not true. None I, of what I mean. has just been said is true. Okay. <laughs> I am not fluent. <laughs> <laughs> we like, I mean, we did a video oh, with Eric and yeah. earlier and… Uh, you're more fluent than you were before. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're quite a good teacher, Eric. Well, thank you. I mean, you have the best teacher right next to you. I'm just like Wait. a good substitute for like, uh, you know, a few minutes. I don't know. It was good. It was but good. yeah, was good. Um, if you guys are listening, we did do a… We did some missions with Ali in Korean earlier today. Mm-hmm. So check fun. it out on the YouTube. Um, it's about time to just start wrapping it up. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for making time. I know you guys Thanks are busy. Having us, man. Doing, doing things all over the world constantly. Um… <laughs> Strange to just come here and talk about ourselves. That's, yeah. that's feels like kind of, we've just 
we need to actually talk about something meaningful now. Yeah. And that was just… Like, well, chat. so I actually had an idea. I don't okay. know if you guys would be open to talking about it. Hit us, please. But I just kept thinking about this story you shared with me. Oh gosh. In Hungary. Okay. Oh, no. About your wedding. Okay, well… And how story. Josh a was a shows. great best man. Oh no! <laughs> 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 oh, and if it's too much, we don't have to talk about it. We'll just edit it out. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's up to you. I'm, I'm all right with it. Yeah, well, you were all right with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, well, yeah, and then I wasn't after that. But <laughs> up to you guys. We could completely go past it. <laughs> so, I mean, this is going on the internet. I'll just, you've got to be careful when you put something on the internet. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It. So. Give, give, you have to give everybody the proper backstory. This is the exclusive. Yeah. This is the exclusive. Ollie's backstory and my backstory are probably going to be quite different. Okay. Yeah. I. Oh dear. I got married shortly after graduating from university right. to my childhood sweetheart, who I am still happily married to. Yes. And um, lovely lady. As Josh had mentioned previously in the podcast. Mm-hmm. Throughout our university career, you farted a lot. I did not <laughs> fart a lot, <laughs> but I there was a prank war, mm-hmm. an there epic was, prank yeah. war, right? Initiated very much by Ollie. Just gonna I, explain. Yeah. What was disclaimer. the first prank? Disclaimer. Do you remember? What was the first prank? I honestly can't remember. Too many to count. Okay, all right, so just many. a lot. Yeah, just a lot. Like just constant pranks. About half of them were Ollie, and half of them were the rest of the house yeah. combined. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, Josh and uh, our friend Kit. They pulled a particularly cruel prank, Mm -hmm. which I think has left enduring (sighs) emotional scars, psychological scars on me, which is they took an item of my clothing from my wardrobe, one item a day for a couple of months. Yeah. And I, like imperceivable, right? And and I was like, I just keep losing clothes, right? And they thought that I was going to… Realize that, I, that they point, were doing it. Yeah. But I just, I just, I guess I don't have much faith in my ability not to lose things. And so I was like, oh man, I swear I used to have more underwear than this. Or, you know, I swear I had, uh, where did that t shirt go? And in the end, by the end, I had worn exactly the same outfit because it was the only clothes I had <laughs> left like t shirt, trousers, underwear, socks, the same outfit for a week. Oh my God. Right? And I, and I literally, I would wash these things and wear a towel, like naked. Waiting and for it, it to dry. Waiting for it to dry. Put it back on for a week until they're like, we have to tell him, right? I and, think it, we started in January, like beginning of January. And then it reached like March and we we're like, he has no holy idea. crap. We've been doing it like a couple of items of clothing per week since for three months. And so we we're like, okay, well, April 1st is coming. Four months. We can't go longer than that. Right. The yeah. guy's just wearing the same thing every day. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, and I was like, oh, that's funny, right? Yeah. But then I like, it felt like just such an epic prank. I'd been so outdone. Right. Right. I was like, how can I possibly get? How can y'all do it? Josh back. Right. Right. Yeah. This is when I think we just need to provide some context that I was <laughs> I like that you've 19 years you've old. This up. I like that you've felt this up. You've shown what we I did I didn't to know you much first. about the world. Would I do yeah. this again? No, I wouldn't. Probably not. Am Probably I proud not. of it? No, I'm not proud of it. I think immediate, not long after I did this thing that I'm about to tell you, <laughs> I, was, I was ashamed of it. And I am ashamed of it to this day. Uh... I pooed on a plate <laughs> and, put, and put it in Josh's bed. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad you used a plate and oh, didn't yeah. poo straight on the bed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's courteous. Yeah. 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 There's also I quite a lot of yeah. skill involved in pooing onto a plate. It was a small plate. It was like this big. Yeah, it was, it was like a dessert plate. And oh, man. I just want to apologize to all the listeners as well. I know this, you didn't know that this was going to happen when you started <laughs> listening to this podcast. But anyway, I did that and it's not my finest moment. But I can't escape the, the record. No. Anyway, fast forward. Yes. Two years. Graduating. I proposed to Lizzie, my girlfriend. Right. We're going to get married. And my mother-in-law knows me, 
right? Right. She knows what I'm like. She, she doesn't knows, know the details. She doesn't know the details. Uh, she just knows you. She knows. But she knows the kind yeah. of person that I am. Right. And so she, and in the UK, the tradition of the best man uh-huh. is that he gives a speech right. that embarrasses the groom. Right. Right. That's I don't know tradition. if it's the same in the States. Kind of, in but it, like... In the UK, a lot of places, there's like a real heavy emphasis on embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. You know, all right. this is your last chance to like reveal all the dirty secrets right, right, before right. Yeah. the groom gets married. So <laughs> my mother-in-law writes to Josh and Kit that they were joint best men uh-huh. and says, I know what Ali's like. I don't want any of the family members to get upset. You must send me your best man speeches before the wedding day. <laughs> right? And I read, I, they tell me this and I'm like... This is censorship. <laughs> this isn't right. This is not a democracy. Yeah, this yeah. is it's this, is this doesn't a dictatorship. this does yeah. not set yeah. a good precedent no. for my marriage. No. <laughs> right? So what would be the best solution is that I will write the most incendiary best man speech I can possibly right. think of, pressing every conceivable button that she has and send it off from their email account, I suppose as a prank on my right. mother-in-law, which again, in hindsight, seems like a pretty bold thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Before like the marriage, a month particularly. Before yeah. marrying her daughter. But anyway, <laughs> I, so I write this speech, and it's just like unbelievably offensive, like a hundred times worse than... Y- anything conceivable. Anything. Like it's like no one would read this right. in front of relatives. It's, it's unbelievable. And the climax of the speech was the line... Uh, again, I'm writing in Josh's voice. He defecated on a plate and left it in my bed. <laughs> right? Sounds like something I would say. And this is the man your daughter yeah. is marrying. Oh right? my gosh. Uh, Josh at the time was in China because he had gone back to my be with his family over the China. summer break. I didn't and even see the email. He didn't see the email. He's not involved in this. Out. He's not involved in this whole scenario right. at all. He comes back for the wedding two days before. And I think we went out. Probably. We went out. Probably. We were busy. And, you know, one thing led to another. Day of the wedding, he hasn't written a best man speech. That's not what happened. That, <laughs> that is, is not what happened. That is what Kit says happened. Yeah, Kit and is. Why okay. would he lie? Why would he lie? <laughs> he has because, a lot to and lie And it's for. proved by the facts, which are Josh finds lying around our house this beautifully written, but... I didn't but find very, it. Kit had it. Very offensive <laughs> best man speech <laughs> that Ollie had written as a joke. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he's like, I don't need to write a best man speech. I can just read this verbatim. Right. No. right? Sounds like a great idea. No. So he stands up and he reads a speech that I have handcrafted <laughs> to be the most offensive speech <laughs> to my relatives as a joke he reads it to all of my relatives my grandfather leaves early oh, oh, yeah I mean I okay. remember right we, we left early deathly we need, silence deathly we need silence to say that we need to give a, like a context as well because on his wedding that Ollie and his <laughs> wife are from quite like traditional English uh-huh. backgrounds Proper. So the, the the wedding was a very traditional English affair, which means like 80% of the audience are over like 50, 60 years old. Yeah. A lot of old relatives. Yeah. yeah. A lot of old relatives. And you... But literally... I, I, you're distorting the story. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if I don't this is Kit's like influence of what he's told you or if the, I, you, I remember you have remembered the story this way for a while. Yeah. But it, that's not how it went down. Okay. How it went Correct down the record, is Mr. me and Kit planned our speeches from a long time before the wedding. A month before the wedding, before I went to China, we had our speeches like rough planned out. Okay. And his role was to be the, the English, I'm going to embarrass you guy. Okay. Whereas me and you, we had like a, a bit more of a, you know, a brotherly... Uh, a bit of a spiritual relationship, mm-hmm. you know? Uh-huh. We went to church together. Uh-huh. You had mentored me personally through a lot of a lot of stuff in my life. I put it on a plate and put it in your bed. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I mean, that was supposed to be Kit's job to tell okay. the prank story. I was supposed to tell the emotional, so who heartwarming the story. So who I wrote and so just I decided didn't, not to change it. So I, I <laughs> gave, I don't know if you remember this, well, you clearly don't, but I gave a speech which was about 90% the, 
the, it was this speech that I'd written, emotional. Okay. It was the story of how you had mentored me. Okay. And, you know, how much of a, a good brother you had been to me through this and how, you know, Lizzie's lucky to be marrying this man. But f- like five minutes before we went up to give our best men's speech, me and Kit were talking and Kit was like, have you seen that audience? Everyone has gray hair. Yeah. They're yeah. all old. They're yeah. all respectful, yeah. respectable people. He's right. He was right. Ollie, we we can't we can't say any of this stuff. He was supposed Correct. to give the embarrassing stories. So he had taken so, my speech. No, so he but he there was the line the end the ending line. Okay. About defecating on a plate. Yeah. He was supposed to tell that story. Yeah. Okay. Where but he bailed on it. He completely changed. He only kept the like the nice bits of his speech that he'd written okay. beforehand. Took out all of the embarrassing can just, stuff. Can I just point out how and Josh is reframing this and he is the hero <laughs> in this scenario. I like was doing... In, in you know what I was armor. doing? He's I was like, doing what you had told like me to do. Washington Post, like, democracy dies in darkness. Okay. <laughs> I, I grew up, the story I grew up in China. I didn't know what a best man speech is supposed to be. Okay. So I had no context for it. I oh went in gosh. being terrified. It's the first time I was a best man. Also the last time I was a best man. <laughs> but it was the first time I was a best man. And I didn't know what to do. So I I talked to you for years before. You told me, oh, you know, if you're ever going to be the best man at a wedding, yeah, you need to tell some embarrassing stories. You told me the stories that you had heard at, yeah. at weddings. Yeah, they were horrifying. Yeah. Genuinely <laughs> terrifying. Some of the stuff, oh my goodness. <laughs> Stripping the groom naked on his on his... Stag do his yeah. bachelor party, <laughs> like throwing him out on the street, making him run oh home, new, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> these are cash, yeah. cash Oh, really? Really? Okay. Private stories coming to public. You mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so you told me this. <laughs> that was my only understanding of what a best man was supposed to do. So then when Kit bailed, I was like, Ollie is the prank instigator. He's, he's also the first one to get married, so... Right. You know, he's kind of getting off easy. But yeah, I we can't just let him get away with all the mischief he's caused yeah. in uni. So I took that that ending line, specifically the line, and I think I mentioned a couple of other pranks we talked about to build it up. It didn't really matter. The only thing anyone remembered from my entire speech was that I said Ollie had pooped on a plate. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember mean, saying that line in, and the whole room just going completely silent. In your defense, though, it did happen. <sighs> it, it did. It did happen. It did. And I did make up with my um, my grandfather eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, God. Uh, I do feel terrible now about this because looking back, I'm like, <laughs> what? How was that necessary? That was not a necessary no. story well, to tell young. to rel- yeah. relatives. Exactly. You know. Exactly. There's I was ICI. young. I thought you know we didn't talk about the ICI. See, no. like they're worse things. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Well, it's pooping on a plate. I think was the worst. I can't worst. believe you got, I think got that to tell that, that story, Eric. <laughs> yeah. So that I just, happened. I've thought about that story multiple times. Oh, I had. That. I it think happened. actually when we told yeah, you about that in Hungary, I was like, Eric, if I tell you the story. You cannot tell anyone. <laughs> and we just told it on your podcast. <laughs> the internet knows. Yeah. All right. I it's mean, I'm serious. If, we, if you want, retrospectively, we could take it out. But I, I was like... Good. Yeah, it's in now. I mean, it's been I, said. I just, it's been I, said. Every time I like your photo or something comes up, I'm like, I can't believe I know the story. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's now a, great, a lot more people are going to think that when yeah. they see me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> yeah. But... Oh my oh, god! He has a, a deeper side to him, and he has a, a poop on a plate side to him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know it's people. The full package. There are multiple sides to humans. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? exactly. Like exactly. you have your your deep side, your super depressive, serious <laughs> history yeah. side. Yeah. You got your religious side. You have yeah. the casually defecating on a plate yeah. side. Exactly. Everybody has, you know. I'm a little worried people are going to speculate that I'm a psychopath <laughs> on the basis <laughs> of this. <laughs> like, all the I signs can... were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, no way. I can testify he's not a psychopath. Oh my gosh. But um yeah, that I that yeah, that happened. I yeah. I re- I do regret telling that story. You know what? How was my best Just man the speech responses. For you? The res- yeah, how okay, was that? Yeah. Did you get back? Did you get no, back at him he, for that at all? Oh, the thing is I tactically, yeah, tactically right. postponed getting married for about so, 8 years. Yeah. After yeah. you did, maybe. 
for uh, that reason. So hacks. we were like, he. I mean, Ollie was like 30 by the time yeah. I got married. Not quite. Yeah. Almost. And so he has more of a conscience by that point. He has <laughs> yeah. a more developed moral uh-huh. compass. Yeah. Right. And so he realized it's probably not best to bring up yeah. all the old pranks. All of Josh's relatives love me. They do. On it's the basis true. of it's that true. speech. Right. I don't really talk to any of Bob's relatives. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I burnt that bridge. Burn it all hard. It's still burning. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's still, still burning. burning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Smoking they haven't burning. managed to put it out yet. Oh, oh man. Yeah. One day. I genuinely sweat when I hear about that story. <laughs> you got really, I, you I got remember, visibly red. I remember the, the like embarrassment of being like, what have I done? Was yeah. this in a church or like, no, like it was thankfully it wasn't it was in a worse. church. It was in a. It was on. It was like three hundred people there. I don't know. In so a many field. So yeah. <laughs> with three. So yeah, people. through a microphone Relatives. with like feedback. Oh my gosh! There's, this... there's in our like wedding photo album. Yeah. You can mark. It's like a, <laughs> like it's like AD BC. You yeah. know, it's like before the pooping on a plate story. Yeah. Everyone's, Everyone's smiling, smiling, loving it, and then afterwards. Like everyone over the age of forty is like furious, oh just drinking God. a lot of wine. Yeah, trying to forget. This is. Thank you for sharing this amazing yeah, story. You're, you're very, it's very welcome. You, oh my yeah. gosh. Well, on that note, we're gonna wrap it. That's all you need to know about these guys. There you go. <laughs> no. Uh, in all seriousness, yeah. thank you so much for joining us on. Thank you for having us. This subpar show. No, I still think you guys great. are dope. Oh, um, this is good. That's and good. thank you for sharing such wonderful stories. Um, anything you want to say to listeners or where they where they can find you um, and more of your amazing content? Well, I don't know. Yeah. What do you want to say? Just on the YouTubes. Yeah. Korean Englishman, Jolly. Jolly. If follow you me kinda... on Instagram, Ollie yeah. Kendall. Ooh, okay. You have to follow Josh. You've got more followers than me. Okay. Yeah. Um, Just even it out. Yeah. Because yeah. even the balance is <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> none, of, none of the pooping on a plate ends up on Instagram. Good. True. probably yeah. get banned. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. Censored. Yeah. Uh, we, or we put a blur on it if it's there. It, there's, it's just it's, not, it's not there. there. It's just it's not there. Okay. Yeah. Just saying for future. <laughs> In case. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Find us. Well, follow us on Jolly. Jolly is kind of this kind of vibe. Yeah. We tell yeah. some stories like that. We actually made a video watching back some of our old videos from uni yeah. on Jolly. So if you want to see those, I gotta watch that. Yeah. yeah. Check it out on Jolly. And uh, nice to meet you all through yeah. our voices in a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. Please go ahead and subscribe and review and rate the show on Apple Podcasts, on wherever you get your shows. You guys can watch the videos and keep up with all the new content on Dive Studios. And this is where it gets really interesting. We're going to ask you to improvise a jingle to outro us. A jingle? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we're just going to wrap it. But thank you so much, (sighs) Jolly. That I'm not going to say like a literally the single most word. Thing we could do. That's no, great. I mean, you're slightly more musical than me, so I'm just going <laughs> to lean heavily on your sh- raw musical. Talent. I love this. Immediately, yeah. just sure putting talent. all <laughs> responsibility straight under the me. bus. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Well, it should have the name of the podcast. Okay, this has been dope. I think you are dope. No, you want to just say this has been dope. I mean, it has been. Or it has been very dope. Hopefully, we're still dope. Wow, sounds like the lyrics of a song waiting yeah. to happen. Oh man, so much pressure. Uh, What's the melody? We should, we should steal a melody from I'm a so famous ex- song. I'm so excited for this. Um, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ollie's all about Are you being creative. creative. One? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Do it. Like this is my final hope that we're still dope. Ooh, rhymes. Wow. Yeah. Bars. Yeah. Bringing out. This is bars. the most creative. Somebody's yeah. gotten. Me. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. What? Okay. We are- this is my final hope. Sounds like the beginning of the Leia message to R two D two. Okay. Slash. Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Right. We're really dragging it on. I like it. Okay. This well, is my final hope. That we're still dope. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, did you guys like that video? Then make sure you guys subscribe to Dive Studios YouTube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way. Look at this video. See? Wow. Wow. And this and this is great too. Enjoy. <laughs>